Why did we not use Ember.js instead of React.js when we did our series on prototyping? You're watching Dev Tips with MPJ and David. Okay, so why did we not use Ember.js? We got a question from Nikhil Patil. Why not Ember.js? It's got the tools, it's got a healthy and growing ecosystem, plus it's easy to get acquainted with. Yeah. Look, I'm like I'm a big fan of um, what's his name, uh, the guy who like the guy who uh, who is the Ember JS guy or like the person that I think of as the Ember JS guy is uh, uh, an old Rails contributor and Rails is Daniel Spaniel. Like, sorry, is it Daniel Spaniel? That was the first on Ember JS guy search results. No, 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 no. No, his name is... Uh, I'm searching for the Rails. Like, they're very talented. It's not a huge, huge tool. Uh, it's it's big, but compared to the, the cloud of React, which is, like, massive, and I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely confident that React is going to be, like, by far the most dominant uh, uh, tool for... As, as a view framework. What is the what is the uh, unique selling point for Ember.js? Like Ember.js is uh, like Ember.js is a full package. Like it provides like all kinds of like a data access model and and it also has like a, it's it's very good at backwards compatibility. Also very good at docs. It also has a uh, a templating language. It's not like uh, it doesn't take the React approach of using JavaScript directly. And honestly, personally, I feel like the templating language is a is a step back. We've learned that we can do away with that, and JavaScript is perfectly powerful as it is. And I, I I'm a big, 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 big fan of the JSX approach. And what is the unique selling point with React JS? I think that they, like you're simplifying it too much with a unique selling point. It's not so much why not Ember JS. It's uh, it's it's more like why React? Like you it, you can like why not a waffle? Why didn't we go to the moon instead of uh, why didn't we become astronauts instead of web developers? Like there's always like this infinite infinite wealth of options that you can pick. Um, like it's just that React is a pretty good option. Yeah, we chose React. We could have chosen Ember JS, but we chose React because we wanted to learn about React. But yeah, and like the thing is, like it's it's very easy to fall into this trap of, like for instance, like okay, I need to clean the house. Uh, I have dirt on the floor. However, like this is a new apartment, or my my vacuum cleaner. I don't I, my vacuum cleaner might be broken. I I need to buy a vacuum cleaner. So, you might go to the store and try to find the very best vacuum cleaner. Uh, but it turns out that the the uh, you you have googled around and you have found that hey this vacuum cleaner that that, that I was going to buy is it's not available, and uh, so instead of uh, buying the vacuum cleaner you order it online so like uh, to get like the perfect vacuum cleaner, and at some point there uh, as you have to wait a couple of days before cleaning your apartment. Uh, you kind of lost track of the fact that your objective is to clean your fucking apartment. Like it, it's so easy to get caught up in uh, in optimal choices. Like React is going to do the job. It's a very very good tool. It's very well established. Such a strong ecosystem around it. Uh, it's uh, it's battle tested as hell. Uh, it's very very small. I think that that's probably uh, the the biggest advantage over. Uh, Ember JS, like what we wanted to do with the Re with the React series was to offer people a way to uh, prototype stuff. Like we didn't want uh, want to teach how to make uh, a production scale application because that entails like a lot more today. Like that that uh, that even. Today, that even entails multiple people of multiple different uh, uh, multiple different skill sets. 
like uh, in in a large scale application, you might have one person doing CSS. You might have one pe uh, person focused on the build system. You might have like this. There's a lot of moving parts there. We wanted to focus on one specific vertical, and React offers you to just focus on the view. Ember doesn't do that. It, it has like Ember has the entire data layer and stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks.